Hey girl, you're looking good, girl. Ow, ow, you're looking good, girl. In here by myself, you're looking good, girl. Ew, ew, you look looking good, girl. You don't look like what you've been through. <laughs> look at you. Okay, yes. Yay. Oh, you can I tell I've been social distancing. I'm just happy to see your friend like. <laughs> a big person, a grown up. I remember when I was um, a kid and I was looking through my mom's, you know, back when people had um, uh, books for CDs with sleeves in it. Yes, yes. I was flipping through my mom's CD sleeves and I found in the back of there Tupac and I said, what? <laughs> She was like, uh, 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 what? Uh, <laughs> when I really laugh, I I'd be like, put, I meant to put makeup on. You look great. Is it's that? Lashes. That's it. That's lashes. no makeup? Lean in. Let me see it. That's no makeup? No. Nope. <laughs> you fine as well. Quit, quit playing. You fine as well. Listen, <laughs> rest of us, look how hard I try. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Guys, I remember my 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 baby okay. sister. Did I start recording on this one yet? Yes, yes. Start okay. recording on that one. All right. Good, good looking. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. My baby sister was just like one day. She was like, "Man, Erica is so pretty. She don't change." Oh. I said, "She don't change." Girl. Oh, thank that's, you. That's not TV <laughs> tricks. That's how oh, she Lord. looks. <laughs> like, and I used to feel stressed out about doing videos and you know yeah. with nothing on, and I was like. <sighs> Everybody know we in, a, in one room of the house. It's okay. Everybody know we just at home. Sometimes I give a little more effort. I, you know, I put something on. You know what I mean. I, I'm not in pajamas. You look great. It may look but like see, pajamas. you mastered the art of how to not do a whole lot, but what I did is gonna work. Okay, because <laughs> I put my high pony on. Yeah, you, you know, my red sweatshirt because the color looks color. good on me. Yes, yes. <laughs> And my skincare is still working out. <laughs> right. Skincare working out. I just ordered some more Kiehl's the other day. Oh, now see, that's a good question. What skincare do you use? Skincare for me, um, I'm religious with yeah. um, oiling my skin. So some days I, I have a like a facial shampoo, face wash, and yeah. I use it like every other day. Yeah. Um, I don't wash and scrub every day, but I use a wash and a, like a little bit of the scrub. St. Ives, coconut Ooh something yes yes scrub, and i rinse and then i use their day oils and their night oils yes and creams i probably use too much no -uh. <laughs> um, clearly I you a don't a lot of water i'm very mindful of yeah. um my system because you know most diseases start in your gut and in your colon and stuff and so when you're not when you're not clean and cleared out it shows up in your skin so i know you've seen many people they have that yeah. dark across their yeah. forehead or dark hair that's all your system that's not really? a, just a bad skin. That's not topical. That's internal. Your body only produces what's in the inside. So if you're not putting good stuff in your body, you'll be constip constipated, tired. It'll show up in your skin. I always can tell when something else is going on in my body. It shows up in my really? skin all the time. Yeah, so I'm always, I, I drink something called um, golden milk. It's turmeric. Oh, turmeric, yeah. Cinnamon, almond milk, a little pepper. There's something else in there. Oh, I mean, maybe honey or maple syrup. If you yeah, sweet. post yeah. well, post it because when you post stuff like that, I'd be like, uh huh, snapshot. Don't forget it. <laughs> I do, but I do it to other people's pages and stuff as well. Yeah, because mm -hmm. I, you know, I have been learning. You know, having had kids now, mm -hmm. everything changed, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and yeah. so then you start to realize, oh, I'm not invincible. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have to be responsible with this. So I have been learning. I'm taking it all in. I was when we were sitting here in COVID at home, I was that's what I was saying. I was having all these aches and pains. And I thought, now what is this about? And I realized, oh, you're sedentary all day. You're just sitting down. Get yeah. up and go take a walk yeah. every day. Yeah. Like get you some fresh air. Can you hear my baby Your in there? It's a little, but so they're not, they don't harass your life. I love my children. Just yeah. 
But every time I want to do something, they go, oh, mommy, please let us go with you. Oh. And then somehow it turns into something else. Going to the grocery, grocery store turns into either Target or Ross. Yeah. They get things that they don't need. Another t-shirt, another pair of shorts, another doll. Yeah. Yep. Or I say, let's go. I want to go walk on the beach. We go walk. I start to walk on the beach. Can we just go down by the water? Now they're putting their feet in the water. This is not what I wanted to do. I want to <laughs> How do you, now that's a good question. How do you get alone time in this season? Because you're not on the road. What's that? I don't. So you ain't got none. Mm-hmm. Me either. I may steal a moment and go in the backyard or yeah. steal a moment and go walk around the neighborhood. My na- I love my neighborhood. It's really great. It's very, yeah. very park-like because there's a lot of big lawns with a lot of grass and trees. Literally yeah. since I've been here, they, they plant every few years new trees just so we make sure it's very lush and warm. Oh, that's nice. But, but I don't, that, I don't get now I just told my husband, I was like, the garage is sitting, there's no cars in it. I need a space. Let's let's make it a space. I was I, gonna and, you, and he needs a space too. We all need a space. Yeah, I was about to say, so like, how are you surviving? Because I and maybe it's the age difference. <laughs> Cause I'm over here like <laughs> three and a half and six months got me going. Um, so like, how are you surviving with little, cause you're used to being on the road, yeah. which, you know, as much as I've never been home of, this in my adult six, life, in my adult life. No. And I, cause I remember when it was six weeks and I was like, wow, six weeks at home straight without getting on a plane. Oh, this is cool. But now we're the third month. And for this foreseeable future, yeah. things aren't going back to normal for a while. Right. My first performance was last Saturday. I and saw so I that. drove out uh, about maybe an hour outside of the city and recorded yeah. something. Crystal was my background singer, but literally it was my first time putting on heels again. I don't, I haven't worn heels. I, 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 I taped Sunday Best for the house. Beautiful outfits, flip-flops, Birkenstock. <laughs> That's what it was. Or socks. You know, and, and Google was here, so she helped me put everything together. Yeah. Um, and she was like, you have to wear heels. I said, I'm sitting down in front of a camp. Tell me what I need a heel on for. Yeah. Oh, no, my goodness. No. But work is, it's funny. I'm at home, but I'm still working. So trying yes. to manage, um, I call them mental retreats are very important for me. Mm. So I'll, I've, I've got these two plants. I'm planting a lemon tree. So I have two small, they're just two, two small plants nice. right now. I'm obsessed with lemons. Okay. And I'm tired of going to my auntie's house and trying to, um, borrow lemons off of people's tree. <laughs> That's off. such a California thing. First of all, though, you know the rest of us are jealous. Like y'all have lemon know, trees. Our lemon trees. I mean, you can get them from the hardware store, but they gonna die. <laughs> Cause y'all weather. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so like, mm. I just started planting them, and it's so funny. Um, you know, sometimes everything feels like a sermon and a message from God. So I planted them, yeah. put them in a pot, keep keep the 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 soil moist and all that kind of stuff and yeah. there was nothing for the longest time and I literally was just about to give up on it and yeah. I was like I guess I'm terrible at planting I'm not I'm not good at this at all and I went out and saw a little bitty sprout now it was small but that little sprout gave me so much hope and I thought how many times has God told us something that was coming and we didn't see it in that first glimpse you get yeah. so excited because it's like oh God is faithful or he he's going to do what he said yeah. and you know the dreams that I had I, it wasn't just something that I made up it was a yeah. God-given dream it was a God dream and so um now there's there's like four little sprouts because what I did I put six seeds in each pot because they said all seeds are not created equal Oh, you did you know seeds. Like you didn't even yeah. plant a starter. Wow. No. So I, my aunt's tree, who I love, her lemons are kind of sweet, but yeah. sour at the same time. Yeah. So I got six seeds. You have to take them, um, sit them in water, then dry them, then put them in the soil. So I did all of that. Of the six seeds, only two sprout, sprouted in each of the pots, which okay. is very interesting um, to me. Just a lot of messages yeah me. of symbolism in there um for me but yeah they're growing and i'm learning um that seeds plant they grow slow but they grow consistently we don't always see the growth because mm. it's happening underneath the soil nobody wants to be planted no yeah. one wants the the soil time but we need soil time yeah. in our lives and sometimes that means pulling back and then i feel like that's what this is this quarantine it's kind of soil time where god is doing so much in me through me, for me, and I'm appreciating all of it, but I understand it's still a slow 
grow. And while, you know, people are like, oh, you've accomplished so much and you've done so much. I still yeah. know that there's so many more dreams that I haven't seen yet. Yeah. And so I'm not like, all right, Lord, your time is better than mine. Yeah. Even though I think it should have happened already. <laughs> um, you know better than I, so. I love that about you though. Like you are, um, you are a person who continues to reach and reach and reach like, and not because, um, because you know that you're going to make good on every investment that the Lord has poured into you. You know, like you're adamant about that, yeah. even when it's not the, the most direct connection, like becoming a first lady, like the joy you have in that, even though that's, that wasn't the next stop on, you know, what on my uh, radar. When somebody would join, go from point A to point B, like, okay, she's doing this, she's doing this, and now <laughs> she's a first, first lady. lady. <laughs> yeah. like, what? We didn't discuss this, Father. But you adore you my dreams. You adore your church, and they I adore do. you, and I it's beautiful to watch. Church. I yeah. love my church. Um, so supportive, and you know, even the stuff that we've had to deal with and go through, we've done it together. You yeah. Know? And, you know, I'll be honest, there's been moments when I'll be like, all right, God, I'm cool. Yeah. But as far as I'm out, listen, let me go on the road <laughs> or go on tour and y'all can have it. You know, I've, I've had those moments. But of I course. come back around, yeah. you know, because it's hard when you, um, when you're really trying and people still don't understand. It's hard when you've given everything and they go, yeah, yeah but I need just a little bit more. And I'm going, where am I supposed to get it from? I gave everything. You know, there's, there's nothing else in here. Um, <laughs> but sometimes that's of the Lord's design. Yeah. To, to remind you that we're forever growing we're yeah. human so you know if we have all these good days back to back to back to back we get a little settled oh yeah, yeah. my prayers are working <laughs> oh my prayer <laughs> oh yeah so I'm, I'm good i've got everything and so sometimes we have to be reminded that we're human and we're flawed and every day requires brand new mercy why would he give us mercy every mm. single morning brand new yeah if he didn't know yeah they're gonna screw it up. sometimes they're gonna screw it up it's, you know what's hilarious to me is that people don't know that you're equal parts business woman, equal parts minister full of the word, equal parts funny. <laughs> so like I'm over here cackling, but it's because <laughs> like I want people to know equal parts. <laughs> equal parts. Hey man. And it's one of the things. I mean, well, three of the things I love about you is that <laughs> you are um, a deep well, oh, but you. you don't take yourself seriously. And which to me is like the best combination ever. And then you like hustle to the nth degree. Okay. <laughs> Nobody is going to outwork. And I wish I could share as much of that as possible with people because they're always asking me how. And I think learning to laugh and yeah. even laugh at yourself sometimes yeah. gives you grace, the grace that you need to forgive yourself and be kind with yourself. We're really hard on ourselves sometimes. Yes. You know what I mean? Oh, so-and-so yeah. said, that must mean, no, they said what they wanted to say. They can say that they want to. Like literally the other day, I posted this video um, with my natural hair. I didn't do my edges, child. I didn't spray in a little extra for this little thin part. I always tease with, my, with Krista. She gets so mom, don't say that about yourself. I was like, I got about 45 strands over here, 50 in here. It's clearly about 10. I don't know. Maybe the Lord's trying to keep me humble with his balding edges. I don't know. Um, so I post this video and people start going in on my edges. Oh, girl, somebody needs to tell her to stop wearing them wigs because her edges are gone, right? I and like so that. I just laughed. I was like, they are gone. Right. I mean, I got hair back here. It's fine. I'm cool with it. <laughs> you like, oh, I'm good yeah. with myself. <laughs> but if I took that personal and then start covering up and hiding, that's too much work. I am I, what I am. Some I'll days I'm it. big. Some days I'm small. Sometimes I'm great. Sometimes my skin looks great. Sometimes some not so much. Yeah. I'm yeah. human. I don't yeah. care. People notice. Sometimes the trolls make it into your comment section and, and, and the words do sting sometimes, but I don't take that personal. Yeah. That's your opinion. Especially if I go to your page, your page is private and no pictures. Your whole purpose is to scroll and make comments so no one knows it's you. Yeah. yeah. That you have always modeled that for me because it's, that's not, that's not an easy lesson for me. And I don't know if it's, growing up with a whole bunch of sisters that just give you that confidence, but that's definitely not the way I grew up. <laughs> and so it's, you definitely modeled that for me because I've, in, yeah. and it has really taken motherhood for me to be like, oh, I'm a mom of two babies. I don't care anything about what you say. <laughs> like, I'm, I don't have the energy. I don't have, I don't have the care that you want me to care. I don't care. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> I, I like in a, like in a genuine way. So I do, I'm doing this panel on the more than pretty tour last year. And yeah. I said, um, tell me what you're, tell me what you're afraid of. Tell me what bothers you the most. And I said, I said, first, let's start with the, what am I afraid of? Yeah. I said, nothing, nothing. That's so good. God is going to do what he does. Yeah. Nothing that I do can, can control mm. life. Yeah. I can control me. I can control yeah. my choices. Yeah. Even with my kids, they'll come to a point where they'll do things yeah. and there'll be nothing that I can yeah. do. You know what I'm saying? I have to leave it in God's hands. If I'm a trust God, I'm a trust God. If he told yeah. me he hasn't given me the spirit of fear and power and love and sound mind, that means the fear came from the enemy and I don't want none of his stuff. Yeah, it don't work. It's always a back end deal with the enemy, with the stuff that he gives. So I'm not going to try to configure this own my own system of protecting my family, which mm. leaves me as a crazy person. Keep, basically, keep you keep know what coming. I mean. This yeah. control issues make us feel good about ourselves. Oh, I I fed my kids good. They looked. I'm the world dressed, and you do all that stuff, and they'll go out and say something crazy, and you be like, I thought I controlled <laughs> that situation. They're kids. They're unpredictable. You love them. You care for them. You teach them prayer. You keep teach them self-confidence. Yeah. But there's certain things that you just can't yeah. control. I remember Krista was a newborn. Warren was out of town and I was washing her. And you know, they're so slippery and slick when they bake. <laughs> so, so, terrifyingly slick. <laughs> I'm washing her and trying not to put her in the water because she can't hold her little head. And yeah. she doesn't fall, but I slip a little bit. I had a full cry fit because I almost dropped her. I'm not a good mother. I'm not good at this. I'm, Krista, I'm so sorry. And she just sitting there smiling, looking. She was happy with the bubbles. Yeah. We have these moments that we want to control and we want to control them with our plans and with our schedules. And you just can't. And you have to be flexible. I, I naturally have a flexible personality. My father okay. used to call me Lottie Da as a little girl. He was <laughs> like, I could, could go or not. People ask me what I want for gifts all the time. And literally, I don't have a big wish list of things it's yeah. for me it's about emotionally how i feel did you make me feel loved because you yeah. can give me a big gift but if you toss it to me i don't want it because yeah you got money of course you could get it i yeah. want something that took something from your heart a moment in time that we share together i'm it's i'm a weird really weird bird and i've accepted and i'm fine with that i love it but my I ability to not care has freed me yeah. in so many ways because I spent a lot of years caring. And now that I don't, yeah. I, I'm enjoying it. What, um, you know, just one, I want to thank you for having this conversation with me because I wanted to have this conversation with moms in this season, but with moms that I actually have conversation with. I was like, you know, I want to talk to the people I actually call when I'm like, how do you do this? <laughs> like, <laughs> Right. And you were one of those people I'd be like, uh -huh. now, you know, because before Gabriel was born and you sat there, I remember sitting in my garage, finishing that conversation because you went, I was like, okay, now what kind of um, products do these things <laughs> called babies need? I mean, I don't, <laughs> you were like, well, you know, I, it depends on the brand you like. I've used Graco, like you literally yeah. had to break it all the way all down way there down. for me <laughs> because I just didn't know. Yeah. And so it's just one of those things. I know that there are women like me who have, you know, just needed to hear those things a lot of times. Um, and my mom, she tells me stuff. We just talk about different stuff. Like yeah. my yeah. mom is purely a creative, <laughs> like free as a bird, like free spirited, so much fun. And so, you know, she'll try Graco. She'll try all the things. Um, me too, we'll yeah. see. <laughs> I don't, so I'm not that person. Like, that's why Postmates, Postmates can work for me. Yeah. It gets brown and get that. But some people, I cannot function with the wrong brand of cereal, the wrong uh, brand of plates. And when you're that structured, life is hard. Life is hard for Tina. Life. <laughs> She's so structured. Like the other day she told me, oh, she gonna be so mad at me for telling her this. She told me, so she has these tiles and she didn't like that there was, um, you sweep and you mop and do all that. But sometimes yeah. you just have to, she took yeah. a toothbrush to the grout to the tiles in her kitchen because she had, she said, I felt the corners weren't right. And I just, I felt some kind of way about my life. It says something about the kind of woman that I am because <laughs> the corners had a little dust in them. You know, oh, I think, I think dust is a little bit good. It helps you build up, build up some antibodies, you know, <laughs> I'm going to do the best I can. I may hit every corner. I may miss one. 
<laughs> the clothes are washed. They're clean. The house smells good. We're going to open some windows, light some candles. And we'll be fine. That's not Tina's story. Oh, Tina. but every woman is different. If you yes. have this, admi- and Tina's much more administrative than I yes. am, structured than I am. So she requires different things, but that works in her life and it's necessary for her. Not so much in mine. And when you embrace that, you don't compare yourself to other yeah. people. Yeah. You know, you don't minimize who you are and how good you are as a mom or a wife yeah. because you didn't meet this list. It's hard because you, if you're on Pinterest or Instagram yeah. and you're saying, oh, I've done this with my bathroom and I've done this and you go, my bathroom don't work like that. Yes. And you feel less of a woman of a mom. I'm struggling with that now. I want my house to be cute. My house is clean, but my house is not cute. So Yes, it is. Too many boxes. People keep sending me stuff. And then now that I'm filming, I have these really big, big boxes. And so yeah. this is a filming room. The living room is now a filming room. We're yeah. wondering the sermons. And then sometimes the music room, they want to film in there because they want to see the awards. And I'm like, yeah, I yeah. have no room. It's just the dining room. The, the I do enjoy room. seeing That's the, the awards. I do enjoy seeing the awards. <laughs> I will say, it ain't nothing better than when I'm scrolling. I'm like, oh, they're at the piano in there with the awards. And I'm saying, yes. <laughs> We're just the people. We're looking for beautiful things. And those awards are beautiful I things. I no plants on the wall. I need pictures. There's no pictures on the wall. I look like don't nobody live here. <laughs> not, I have stuff to do. I get like, I don't believe that's true about your house. I believe you feel that way. I don't believe it to be true. But I just <laughs> get that because, you know, we just been in this house. And now you're looking at everything I like, know. that's on my nerves. That's on my right. nerves. That's all right. <laughs> See, like this corner, it needs a tree. There's no tree, no plant. It's just, I mean, the wood is pretty. I love my wood. My house was built in 1913, so it's an older house. and <gasps> classic. That's fantastic. Yeah, we refurbished it. It was one of the first houses in the neighborhood. So it's a lot of history oh. in the house. But, I, you know, I need some Wait. mirrors, something on the wall. That's fantastic. Do the kids know and, like, love yeah. that history? They do. They do. Um, Like, this neighborhood, it was the first wealthy Black neighborhood. I love that. My kids can live in a place where there are Black people who've worked yeah. hard to, you know, acquire yeah. producers and stuff like that to live in the neighborhood. So we see each other walking. There was a strange occurrence yeah. the other day. I'm Uh-oh. driving down the street and my kids are in the car and they're literally talking about Tyler, the creator, the artist. Yeah. I'm driving down the street and he is, Tyler, the creator, is literally on a bike. Right. <laughs> I'm going, that ain't normal. That ain't normal. That's LA. <laughs> that's LA. But that don't, that's not what, that's not the norm at all. Like, I don't see people all the time. Like, we have regular working people <laughs> yeah. over here. So, I you know. I love that. Well, speaking of like preparing your home, you know, as moms, I know that we set the tone for our homes. Yeah. You know, our husbands are the head. Well, we do set the tone, like whatever it's going to be, whether we set it intentionally or we lay back and it gets set in our absence. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> How do you set the tone of your house and what's important um, as a part of that tone? Like, like what's important to you that the house embodies? Prayer and peace. Yeah. The house needs peace. And so even when my kids are fussing, hmm. um, I tell them, I'm, I don't jump in the middle of everything because I want them to learn the yeah. art of communication, working out difficult things, both wanting something different, learning how to compromise and come together. Ooh, so I don't good. always come in screaming, you know, you know, sometimes I have to do that. But yeah. um, for the most part, I tell them, you guys have to learn how to work things out. And this is going to sound a little dark. I go, mommy's not going to be here forever. What about when you're on the playground? What about when you're at school? You have yeah. to learn how to work things out when yeah. you don't agree. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you have to learn to be fair. We're working on the fair thing. But I got a <laughs> testimony though. Listen. So tell it. So listen, we struggle with teaching Zaya sharing. You know, okay. that's, that's her area, learning to share. <laughs> so Sweet last Zaya. week she said, she said, mommy, I want to fast. I said, you do? She said, yeah, I just want to have like fruits and vegetables and stuff. So I said, why do you want to fast? She said, well, I want to sacrifice because I know Jesus sacrificed on the cross and, you know, maybe I can get closer to Jesus right oh on the on the day she wanted to get closer to jesus krista wanted to make pancakes <laughs> so she was stressed i said zaya just because you're fasting it doesn't mean that everybody's fasting oh. i said are you gonna stick with it and so she said yes and so oh. we, 
she didn't go the whole week, but she went Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, which I think is really great for an eight-year-old. Yes. You know, she didn't sneak in the chips because I was checking because she's the crumb, she leaves crumbs. And so I asked her, <laughs> did she pray? And did she read her little scriptures? And I felt like that was such a step in the right direction. I remember Wozy doing it one time when yeah. he was back. And I felt like, oh my God, I felt so great just because they wanted to, because it's all about the desires. You know, if the scripture says he'll give you the desires of your heart, most people think that means he'll give me what I'm asking for. Yeah. But I believe it means he'll give me what to want. Yes. Lord, to want what you help me to desire what you desire. Yeah. Place the desire that I should have in my heart. Help me not to even want the wrong thing, yeah. you know, because that's where we struggle, you know? So the yes. fact that she said, I want to fast. I was like, oh, okay, Warren, we could definitely, we could, we could high five each other. We did good. <laughs> I, I'm like, I'm convicted. Like, Lord, have I asked to fast in a while? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't ask to fast as a child. Listen, oh, mama, I've not heard of children dad, asking to fast. Well, that's kind of the culture at our church. We, we do the Daniel fast at the top of the year. And sometimes if me and Warren are fasting, we'll extend it to the kids. Do you guys want to fast with us? You don't have to, but here's the benefits. You'll kind of get your mind disciplined. You yeah. walk in God's instruction and guidance and you kind of yeah. cancel out the noise. It brings peace wow. to my home when we operate that way. Sometimes I'm worshiping out loud. Yeah. Back to your original question of, you know, how no. do I balance? The peace in the home is more important. So even when it comes to me and Warren, yeah. um, my question is, do I want, do I want to be right or do I want mm. things to be right? And so Ooh. wanting things to be right means I have to back down sometimes, <laughs> you know? Because what does right mean? What does it really get us when we say, oh, I'm right. So now you're, you're telling him or you're telling them you're wrong. Now, how does that feel for them? Ugh. How do we all get to a place of peace? You know what I mean? Well, in true COVID fashion, because COVID is tacky. Wi-Fi went out. Look at this. A little blurry and everything. Let's see if we can finish. <gasps> Thank you. I'm back. Listen, I was over here. I was like, you know what? We're just going to have to end it like when the power goes off at church. Bless that wonderful name. <laughs> Y'all power went out at y'all church too? <laughs> No, I was talking and your face didn't move. I went, Jess, <laughs> frozen. <laughs> uh, you straight for a long time. You're so oh. sweet. Thank you for still reserving this time. For sure, for sure. You were saying some good too. I was like, just you know, I think this is also a time when we can illuminate um, the gems that have been in the word yeah. of God. I think we've been so stuck on give me peace, provide for me, heal my body. But there's yeah. so much more in this book that talks specifically to us about us, our struggles, our challenges, even when it comes to the struggles of motherhood. Think of the two mothers. One mother uh, had a baby and took somebody else's baby. And, you know, just think of those struggles, the same things that are were in the planet then are still in the planet now. And there are answers and solutions yeah. in the word affirmations and, and hope in the word. Yeah. And I hope that during this time that we'll take a moment to dig a little bit deeper and find out what the father says about us, you know? We have to, or that, um, uh, th that scripture in Philippians that says, do nothing out of rivalry or conceit. Yeah. That Greek word for conceit is also like self-esteem. And I know we've been taught to have high self-esteem, but it's like, no, we, we can't even get our value from what we think of ourselves, whether it's great or not. Like we yeah. have to get it from the word and just yeah. what an important time to drill down that lesson. Cause I would say that, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. The ego, whether too high or too low is still about you. Exactly. So everybody is thinking of me is the pride. Yeah. Will everybody think of me is the yeah. low self-esteem. You still made it all about you. Um, yeah. actually, when I talk to uh, our worship team, you know, because we have some that can sing and are shy and we're trying to push them forward. Well, I don't know what people think of me. I said, they're not supposed to be thinking about you. They're supposed to be thinking about Jesus. And you should be thinking about Jesus. So if you take your eyes off you, 
you're helping them to take their eyes off you because you're directing them straight to God. So it's not about a bad note. If I look corny, you know, can I do this because my first lady is a recording artist? Yes, you can. And I'm affirming you and pushing you forward. So learning to take the attention off of you, what will they think about me? And you make sure that, that Christ is so illuminated in your life so they can't help but whatever I thought, but I know I saw Jesus in her life. Yeah. I know I felt the, the presence of God on her life. Have you ever been to the grocery store and you've seen somebody and you go, are you a Christian? I yep. think this, I, this small, this not Asian, she was a Spanish lady. Oh. And she was walking through. And I literally could see, I said, ma'am, do you go to church? He said, oh yes, I love Jesus Christ. I said, I could tell. It was so great. It was so great. Even the lady at my cleaners, I yeah. was late pick you know i'm traveling so i'll put clothes in the cleaners in january come back in june and she'd be i know she'd be frustrated but she's still oh miss erica she's still so so sweet and i said what church you go to she goes to an apostolic church come on you can <laughs> sense and feel the presence of god off of people and that's what i want them to feel not about me and i'm so talented and i'm so good because i know there are people who sing better than me i know there's people who have more than me but if god has called me to a moment if God has called me to a place that I'm equipped and prepared to give everything that I'm supposed to give. And when you walk in that confidence, it steals the lies of the enemy that he would whisper in your mind. Listen, y'all, I've had to be on stages with great and amazing legendary people and had to stand there and find my confidence and find the ability to say, God wanted me to be here. It was amazing. One of the, one of the first, I'm going to tell you this quick story. One of the main, uh, one of the first times I did a mainstream event by myself, I think Tina was having her second baby. It was, um, an evening with the stars. They were honoring Lionel Richie, but it was Stevie Wonder, Natalie Cole, James Ingram, and Erica Campbell. And I was standing there going, how did I get here? What is happening? <laughs> we were opening singing, we are the world. And right before the curtain went up, James Ingram, I guess he could see the fear in my face. And he tapped me and he said, you're supposed to be here. You're here because you're supposed to be here. And I was like, I stood a little taller in that moment. I literally was like, yeah, they called me on purpose. It wasn't an accident. They didn't call somebody else. And I showed up. They thought of me. Somebody said, we want Erica Campbell to do this. Yeah. I'm here for that reason. You, but you know that like the one time Tina was not there, women of faith. And I asked you to be the other Mary, and you did. I did. You were amazing. Well, you so sweet. I ran up there, did my part, ran down, and then realized, wait, 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 Tina comes back in right here, too. Ran back up. <laughs> we need that footage. We need that footage. Somebody's got that footage. That is me running up and down the stairs in some heels. Oh, okay, I'm done. All right, I'm, I'm done now. <laughs> It's such a moment where, or just like even you're saying, I had and still have so much respect for what y'all do that it was just like, oh my goodness, what am I doing? And I was literally just like, okay, I'm going <laughs> to back down and watch because that I just, you know, oh. for 30 years, I watched the same concert with the same joy and the same <laughs> moment. So it was just, and when I came back down, running the second time one of the guys in the audience was like oh this is a moment for you huh <laughs> i was like it is <laughs> Still. Aww, but yeah, so cool people instilling that confidence is such an important part of something that we pass down to one another whether it's our kids or other people that the lord in that moment gives us something to impart to somebody else or in somebody else. Cause I need a day, you know what I mean? Like that was the infusing of confidence from one of my heroes. Like what in the world? Anyway. Oh. Ah, that's so awesome. I'm honored to be that. Um, I mean, for real, like when, when I got the call to even do this with you, I was like, absolutely, Janice, absolutely. I, well, I appreciate that and I love you. You've been, I've been a true fan and um, become a friend and you've always treated me. They always been so sweet and I appreciate you and I love your kiddos and love and appreciate um, Pastor Warren. <laughs> I would make one request and that is that y'all would get around that piano and sing more. I'm not playing. Do y'all realize like when y'all do that how we eat that up? Do y'all no. really? You don't? 
No, I just, I, okay, transparent moment. I just this year told myself I'm going to intentionally post more of myself singing. I don't. If you catch it, then you catch it. But I don't, if you go to my page, you don't see me posting myself. Oh, here's me singing here. I'll post a clip, a picture, but I won't post me actually singing because I'll go, oh, that note wasn't right. Oh, I should have been, it was a little flat. Oh, that run didn't make it. I literally do that to myself. And I was like, Erica, you have got to get out of that, you know? And so I've, I've even that clip that I did post, that took some talking that I had to talk myself into that. I had to okay. talk myself into being okay posting that because I'm a perfectionist. You know, when there's this standard, you know, I don't want to lower it or lessen it by having a subpar moment. Go, oh, it was just a fluke. Oh, she can't really sing, guys. It's just a fluke. <laughs> um, but that's I, my own things that, you know, that I'm, I'm working on and working through. Let me make the request for everybody who's going to see this. Going in there on the piano with the Autumn Awards. <laughs> Cause who can? Let me tell you, hit the flat note in front of the awards. Cause what? Ah. Well, <laughs> I can't go in there with that piano in front of those awards, and y'all sing us something now. Come on now, let's sing us something now. Come on, now. yes, ma'am, yes, I, I will. I love you so much. Thank you for setting aside this time, even with the crazy Wi-Fi cutting us off. You are such such a dear person to me and i love you i appreciate you and i soak up everything everything that you put out because i'm your artist with the lord and i've you know i've been a fan for years and a friend but it's really about knowing where your heart for the lord is knowing that when you put out a song that says i'm praying for you i know that you pray so when you said i set the tone in my house with prayer and peace i'm like Oh, that's for real. Like, y'all don't know Erica prays. Yeah, I don't want chaos. <laughs> well, is praying as much as it is anything else. So, yes, I appreciate that. And you, and I love you. And yes, I've enjoyed my I love time. you too. Thank you so much. I love you and your family. Thank and you. Isaac and the boys. I have to meet the new baby of the pictures y'all post. I can't. And listen, little little gaby with the scones on sunday um just <laughs> it's a whole thing I, it's a whole thing i love this whole family you hear yeah, so, me i love it all thank you sis well give everybody a hug for me kiss your sisters for me and tell them i said hello <laughs> i absolutely will you do the same okay thank you okay, bye, bye.